Hi, and welcome to this bite-sized video on setting up your simulator to run penultimus doubles. Now, penultimus doubles is one of the training methods that can be used whilst teaching plain bob doubles, and is particularly useful for those who have trouble striking four blows behind or long fifths. And if we look at the information sheet which is available from ringingteachers.org for penultimus doubles, we can see that the treble purely hunts up to fourth place, whilst all of the other bells ring either plain hunt or they are doing long fifths. And all of the signposts are there as per plain bob doubles so that you can use this to assist the ringer in watching the treble and using it as a signpost for ringing long fifths. So how do you actually put penultimus doubles and set it up in a simulator? Now we're going to use both Virtual Belfry and Able for this exercise and all of the methods and exercises in any simulator are created from place notation. Now this, I stress, is not a training course on uh, writing place notation. However, uh, I have set up a tool in Excel which allows us to see how the notation is produced and it gives you a uh, handy tool to use if you want to create your own methods. Now, in this tool, we can see that I've written out here the actual grid for penultimus doubles. And what's happening here is you can see that some of the cells are highlighted in a yellow gold color. Now these are the bells that have not moved from the previous blow. So you can see here that um, the bell in fifth place, which in fact is five, has not moved, whereas both three and four and one and two have both swapped. So the way that notation works is it indicates the bell numbers that don't swap. So in this case, you can see here that the notation denotes that bell in fifth place has not swapped. So I stress this is the this is the place and not the bell. If we look at the next row, you'll see that the two is leading and has not moved. Therefore, we put a one in place. Again, we have a the Bell number three that was ringing in fifth place has not moved fifth place. So we mark a five. And then we have three bells. So four, one and three that are in first, fourth and fifth place have not moved. So we put in one, four and five. So we can follow this all the way down the, the method until we get to rounds again. Rounds in this case are indicated by the, the blue square and that's very important that you with some methods when you set them up that uh, you know when that uh, that is because some simulators will automatically stop when they get to rounds. So once we've gone through and we've worked out all of the notation we have to input that into the simulator we're using. Now what I've done is copied this row and I have pasted it going across the uh, the page here but if you just go and paste that straight into the simulator you'll find that you get tabs or large spaces and what we need to have is we need to have a dot in between so you can see here that I have created all the numbers but with a full stop in between them and that is the long hand notation. Now I'll stress that it is the long hand notation because 
there are ways of actually typing this in and abbreviating it uh, so that it is much shorter, but this will always work. So if you use this principle to set up a method within your simulator, you will find it will always work. It might not be pretty and it might be quite lengthy to type it all in, but you will find it does work. So once we've got this, we can take a copy of it and then we can go to our simulator software and actually input it. Now, if we look first at Virtual Belfry, we'll see here on the left hand side under the main tab, we have what you would call the control panel, the main control panel for the software. And we have six bells selected, therefore we have a choice of doubles or minor methods, doubles or minor exercises, or alternatively call changes. We're going to put this in as a method. We could put it in as an exercise, but we'll put it in as a method. So what we do is we click the doubles button. This gives a list of all of the uh, doubles methods that are already installed. And when you uh, rest your mouse over one, you can get all sorts of options for compositions. We're putting in a method, so as doesn't exist. So we're going to go to the method list and we're going to say new and to enter penultimus doubles is simply a case of typing in the name it automatically adds doubles after it and then the notation that we created before we just paste that in and then we can click ok we could if we had a method where we're putting in bobs or singles then we could put them in here but for this we just literally click OK. It now appears in the list of available doubles methods and we click choose and it will be the one that you can see selected here. We better check to make sure it looks OK so we click generate and here we can see the treble and then bell number two which is making long fifths here three four five and that is it we can then just simply go and ring the method go next time Okay, so that's how to set it up in Virtual Belfry. Now if we look at Able, the process is very similar. What I've done is I've loaded the file that is called Learning Exercises. You have all the five bell, six bell, eight bell methods. And there is one here called Learning Exercises, or you can create a new one if you want. So I just open that one and here it gives you a list of all of the available methods that are there. We're going to add a new one. So we go to edit and we say add a method and we do almost exactly the same thing as we did with Virtual Belfry. So we type in penultimus but we'll need to put in doubles here the number of bells is five if you don't put that in you'll get an error message to say that you're trying to reference a bell number that doesn't exist we give it a short name we'll just call it pen that's used when you see the blue line here when it starts it comes up with pen to uh, indicate that you're ringing penultimus doubles and then in the notation we just basically paste in the same notation that we used before. So once we've done that, we can click add and finish. If you just click finish, it won't add it to the list. So we need to add and finish. And we now have penultimus doubles here in the, uh, the list. And the selected method is penultimus doubles. So again, we can look at the blue line 
Penn is the short name we gave it. And you can see here that the treble is hunting up to fourth place. And then two, three, four and five are either plain hunting or making long fifths. And of course, we can then just simply ring the method. Go next time. Stand. Okay, and that is basically all there is to setting up penultimus doubles in either Able or Virtual Belfry. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been useful and we look forward to seeing you with more of these bite-sized videos.